Hey guys, I'm here to review Dragon Ball Super episode 50, yet another awesome episode, 4 in a row now. The cliffhanger game continues. Spoiler alert. So, we finally got to see the Goku vs Goku Black match. Just as expected, the fight was very short and in the middle of the fight, the time portal pulled back Black Goku to the future Trunks' timeline. But before he left to destroy the time machine, Luckily enough, Bulma has a spare as she kept the time machine cell using a capsule. That problem solved. Now let's have a look at the top 5 WTFs. Number 5. Goku Black apparently recognized Goku, Vegeta and even Beerus. This is very interesting. How did he know Beerus and Vegeta? This again further hints he is related with the Kaioshins and gods somehow. And if he is, obviously he would know the god of destruction. It is kind of weird, I don't see where Beerus would fit in in the future Trunks timeline. I would find it much more comfortable if they made it like the gods are only in the original timeline, which obviously isn't the case here. Again, since he knows Beerus and Vegeta, it raises a question if he is someone who appeared before in Dragon Ball, because Vegeta is dead in the future Trunks timeline, so let me know what you think in the comment section. Number 4. Goku didn't go Super Saiyan Blue or even SSG3. Yes, Goku instead of taking out the guy who killed future Bulma and destroyed the art in the future right away, decided to play the fight game with him. We all know how Goku's mentality works. Oftentimes, fighting a strong opponent maintaining his original style is what matters most to him. Like future Trunks care most about killing his enemy, and thus have a very successful killing record. Goku and Vegeta on the other hand have their very own personal style. They often let their opponents power up to their max form even when the entire universe is at stake. They get the kick from it and Future Trunks asked why Goku isn't using the same amount of power he used against him. Vegeta explains that Goku has a bad habit of not fighting seriously at the start. Likewise, in the battle itself, Goku and Black both note how neither of them is using their full power. It was very certain though that Black was hiding his real power too. The decision of Goku to fight him in the Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 2 form was illogical and eventually ended up helping Black to get stronger. I will come back to this later. Number 3. Black says it is an honor fighting Goku in this body. This line is very interesting. Does that hint that this is actually an acquired body? And the way he speaks, it feels like he encountered or even fought Goku before. Or at the very least, knows about Goku and wanted to fight him for long. At this point, it is very hard to connect the dots. Who could he really be? And why would he want to fight Goku in this body specifically and not only that, he finds it honorable. From what he said, it sounds like he has a history with Goku, he talks as if he fought Goku before. Number 2. Goku Black Powers and Ki keeps raising The guy keeps getting powerful as he fights. Many people say that all the Saiyans get stronger as they fight, but they mostly get stronger battle by battle. And they specifically kept mentioning that Black's power increases drastically as he fights. Of course, it is something exceptional otherwise they would not mention it. And he enjoys pain. Not because he's like Brock Lesnar, but because with each attack like that his power will eventually increase. That makes me wonder if many of the blows he took against Goku and Trunks was by will. Black is just insane. I absolutely liked how he smirks after getting hurt, it's like he's enjoying the pain. I would like to mention that the way they described him, it sounds like his key and overall power increasing system is somewhat similar to that of the legendary Super Saiyan Broly. We see that Black has now returned to Trunks' future world, lying on the ground in some degree of fatigue and pain. Black says that Super Saiyan Goku's fighting style has been engraved into his body, which will make his strength even more perfect. Very interesting and gives us some idea about the abilities of Black. So as he fights, he doesn't only get strong but can also acquire the fighting style of his opponent. 
Now it is not clear what exactly they mean by fighting style. Will he be even able to use his opponent's move? Whatever it is, it sounds really dope. He already fought Future Trunks and Goku. Does that mean his body gained fighting style of both of them? This could be really insane. What if he gets eventually stronger like this and fights Beerus? Will he then have the fighting style of Beerus? You can pretty much see the potential there, right? Goku Black has the time ring of the Kaioshins. Whis and Beerus are kind of surprised to see that time ring on Black's hand. As they mentioned many times before, how sensitive time traveling is and how it can drastically change everything. So obviously it is not good news if someone like Black has the ring. But since time manipulation is very sensitive, the time ring itself has some limitations. For each which pulled Goku Black through the portal he used to come in in this timeline. Whis explains that Black most likely didn't vanish on his own. Rather, Black was able to come to this era when the powers of this time ring, this string ring on his right hand, reacted to the distortions in time created by future Trunks' time machines. Passage through time and space. However, these distortions try and return to the original state, similar to the way a wound held. And so, as a result, Black's time ring forcibly pulled him back to the era he came from. In other words, Whis says he basically just ran out of time. A very interesting thing about this ring is it looks like it has the time breaker symbol. Look at the mask of Timebreaker Bardock. It has the same logo as the ring. So, is it telling us something? It looks like all that fan theories might end up having some relevance with the actual plot. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comment section. And this one, I want to mention separately as the most shocking scene of the episode. Future Mai is alive. At the very last moment of the episode, we see Future Mai's hand moving. And then later on episode 51 preview, it is confirmed that Mai is indeed alive. Like I stated before with all that appearance on promotional materials, there was no way Mai was going to die in just one episode. The next episode title is Mai's Feeling Transcend Time. In that episode, we will get to know more about Mai and Trunks overall. It looks like he will share this info with Kid Trunks and Mai too. So let's see. Again, a lot of mysteries remains to be answered. This arc is totally on fire. Each and every episode has been amazing by its own merits. And they're doing this cliffhanger game so good. The hype is real. Be excited. Bless the comment section with your opinion for daily updates. Subscribe.